welcome to another episode of the A-List Music Club. I am your host, the game changer, Wes Truth. And this is a show where each week one of us will pick a different album by a different band and uh, we're going to discuss it. So this week uh, week was uh, John's turn. Uh, John, why don't you tell us a little bit about what album you picked? Okay, I picked a band called Silver Tide, and this is their one and only album called Show and Tell. Um, okay. They're from Philadelphia, which is local for me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I heard um, a couple of these songs on the radio, and I liked it, so I found the CD. And uh, I haven't listened to it all the way through in a while, but I did for the show. It's pretty good, I think. Okay. Yeah. I I listened to it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, um, I did hear. I I did recognize one of the songs. Um, kind of like you had said before, kind of a a black crows type of type of sound to them. Um, I think the singer decent. sounds like it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that was the downfall because I could never get into what Chris Robinson's vocals or whatever his name is. <laughs> I, uh, but um, yeah, I liked them. Uh, the good, good musicians. Uh, I I really liked the uh, the song. Uh, I think it was California Rain. Um, yeah, good. I enjoyed it. I yeah. wouldn't probably listen to the whole thing again, but there are songs I would. Definitely pick and choose out of there for like playlists and stuff. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Or dopey, uh, did you fall asleep or what? No, I just was. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cool that they're from Philly. Um, and sing about it uh, a couple times in the song. Uh, I definitely hear that Black Crows, and I know you said John Buck Cherry a little bit. I could hear the comparison with that. The- some ACDC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I had never heard of them before, um, but I did see that they were featured in the movie Lady in the Water by M. Night Shyamalan. So that's, that's a career highlight right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so I thought they had an interesting kind of sound. Um, not really my kind of thing. Um, but I like the number of the songs. No, it's because just... little Japanese girls screaming. <laughs> <laughs> How could you on Sue Metal's birthday? <laughs> uh, but uh, I, yeah, I don't know that I would listen to the whole album again, like Dominic said, maybe just pick a few songs off of it. Um, I thought there were some cool guitar solos too. Um, I liked Ain't Coming Home. I thought that's a great way to kick off the CD. Uh, Devil's Daughter. I like that. The line, I've got the devil's daughter in my bed. is pretty funny. Um, And I like California Rain as well. Um, It sounded like, what I got out of it, I thought it sounded like an opening for a 2000s reality show. (laughs) I don't know why. That's what I wrote down. But, uh, and then they have a couple slower songs as well. Uh, Heart Strong. And uh, nothing stays. Those were pretty good. The rest I just sort of sort of thought were eh, they were okay. But uh, yeah, I, it was fine. <laughs> I thought. Yeah. Have you um I mean, have you ever seen them in concert, John? No, I have not. I I think they sort of came and went so fast that you know I never got to see them. I only heard I heard eight coming home on the radio a lot. Which was the biggest hit on this album? Mm-hmm. That what one did they play on? on, like Y one hundred two. Y one hundred two, yeah, 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 and then like MMR because of Philly. Okay, that one, Devil's Daughter, and Blue Jeans were the three singles, the three hits off the album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're sort of. I can't really find much about them. They sort of like just disappeared. They did this one album and then. They toured for three years straight, for 2003 to 2006. And then the, their record label got bought out by RCA Records, 
and then they were dropped. So there's not much about them. Uh, the bass player is in a band called We Are Harlow. Hmm. R L O T. I don't know who that band is either. But yeah, I don't know much about them. I just, you know, for a bunch of young kids from Philly, it's not bad. No, yeah. no. You know, like hard rock, blues rock, kind of. Yeah, that's it's, true. But for 2003, though, this kind of music wasn't really in. No, oh, 2003. I'm trying to think. It was like Outcast, <laughs> like Hey Ya. <laughs> it was like the most was popular. Yeah, this mm-hmm. whole yeah. Although I think that like Jet was popular in 2003, but that's a different kind of rock. Yeah, but they didn't last either, though. They after their couple of hits, after, they sort of after. Uh, Are you gonna be my girl? And yeah, yeah. R- rock music today really doesn't last. <laughs> no. uh, I think for a young band, their first album, like you guys said, the whole album doesn't hold up. Like there's some songs I could skip and be okay right. with it. I like a coming home. Devil's Daughter two are good. I like Blue Jeans. I like Heart Strong. I think it's a good song. One of the slower mm-hmm. ones. Uh, nothing Stays is fine. But something, I, Foxhole, Jesus Christ, I don't even know what that even means. I Yeah, I listened to it last night, and I'm like, I don't even remember listening to some of these songs, but I yeah. did. <laughs> For I've been listening to it all week. Like I sort of have to live with an album. I can't listen to it once. Because you totally yeah. forget. <laughs> I'd listen to it and then maybe take a day off and listen to it again. I need to sort of, you know, soak it in and, and sometimes I can't pay attention if JJ's in the car, or, you know. Yeah, that's true. So I gotta, but I'd be interested to see if they would have done another album if it would have where it would have gone. Yeah, uh, that's true. But yeah, the songwriting's not bad. He does kind of sound like the Black Crows lead singer, but I gave us to a. My dad, who made a copy, and a guy at work, and he made a copy. So I'm spreading the word. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll make a comeback years. after our show. About <laughs> 15 years too late, but I'm spreading the word. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Let's, let's do it. It can be like your GoFundMe. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a shout out on their next album. Yeah. Well, it's better than Howard the Duck. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a zero. It's not a zero. It's not a ten. Uh, I'd say it's probably about a six. It's pretty. It's good, but it's not great. Okay. Like I said, for a young band, it's not a good date. It's not a bad debut, you know. Okay. Awesome. I and I tend right now to to pretty much agree with you. Uh, I I was thinking about even, but then. I was thinking about, you know, a little bit higher than a six, but um, I didn't think I liked it that much. But uh, it's it was good. It was It's fun. It's kind of cool that they're from Philly. Um, it's kind of nice for, like, it's because it's rock and roll. It's not rap crap or anything else like that. Um, but I liked it, so I, I give them a six. And uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty much on the same the same uh, level as you guys. Um, I'd, I'd probably just give it a five, though. All right. But yeah, not Seven. bad, but just something that, you know, I'd probably listen to one or two songs, but not the whole thing. Yeah. I, said, I listened to it when I first got it, and I haven't listened to it since until we did this, so. Yeah. <laughs> It was cool. It's it cool not... to find new bands that we never yeah, heard of before. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So it's my turn to pick next week. So I'm going with a band that was in the 70s. And in the 70s, uh, there was a, a, a rock magazine that was based out of Detroit called Cream. And when this they were talking about some of the newer bands and they, there even was a band called Angel who was like the complete opposite of Kiss, but they had the huge stage show and everything. They, they, uh, 
dressed all in white and everything like that. And uh, so they would say if Kiss was the black and Angel was the white, this band would be the gray. That they're kind of like they, they said it's kind of like uh, they were out playing Dirty Doctor with your sister behind the barn and stuff like that. I'm going to go with a band called Stars, S T A R Z. And I'm going to pick their album Violation for us to listen to. Have you ever heard of them, John? Yes, I have. Have you? Yeah. Cherry uh, Baby. Yep. That is on this album. Yeah. All right. So, John, you want to talk a little bit about the podcast? Um, I'm on a podcast called We Like Wrestling Podcast. Um, four guys sitting around talking about wrestling, past, present. We do classic pay-per-views. We do a mock tournament once a month. Um, just, uh, just fun. Just four guys talking. Uh, we're on Instagram. I don't know what it's called. We Like Wrestling 1. You probably know better than me, Wes. <laughs> what, what it is. And then uh, we have a Facebook page. We're on iTunes and Apple and Spotify, wherever you find your podcasts. Yeah, just search for you know, wrestling. Yeah, I think it's VLW1 or something. Yeah. yeah. All right. And of course, for mine, youtube.com slash westside of 515. Subscribe on there or here or whatever. You can like to me on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Bayless. And of course, follow on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, truth out.